Then let's dive into it. Give me one moment to load my rich client. Oh, wait, there isn't one in Atlassian. And so we are in an entirely web-based solution, <laughs> all including all administration and configuration of the platform. So before we dive into the product itself, a couple of notes I'd like to make. One, the Atlassian platform is available in two editions. We have a data center edition, which is an on-premises implementation where you completely control the platform. And then there is a cloud-based solution. Now, the cloud-based solution is actually architected for the cloud. And part of the reason I point that out is one of the challenges we used to run into with Sherwell was that we took a MSI file basically to install a Sherwell on a server and basically just ran that up in the cloud. So what that meant was upgrades were a bit of a challenge at times, particularly when it came to custom forms and workflows. In the Atlassian model, we are a containerized architecture for the cloud. So what that means is when it comes time to upgrade, all you notice is that, hey, new features just appeared. You do not have to worry about how it's going to impact any of your users. Now, for purposes of today's demonstration, we are going to be focusing on the cloud edition. There are a few differences between the data center and cloud. I just wanted to point that out ahead of time and happy to schedule some time walking anyone through the data center edition if there is interest. We start with dashboards and we'll actually return to dashboards later on in, in this experience. But as part of the platform, I can visualize all the workflows within my platform, looking at things like my SLA achievement, my time to resolution, all defined very easily. What we also do is organize our workflows into projects. And this is a major difference from both the Sherwell and Ivanti platform and gives our customers a lot of flexibility. So what I mean by these projects, and probably a better word to use to describe it would be workspaces, which gives individual teams autonomy to really adapt the platform to follow their own workflow. So what I mean by that is with Sherwell and Ivanti, you have a monolithic incident object, same with service requests, problem. And part of the challenge with that is I may have multiple teams running incidents or service requests. And it meant that I had to enter into negotiations with all of those teams to come down to a common set of fields. And I often, with, as an administrator, would have to do a lot of, if it's this kind of ticket, then show these fields. If it's this team that owns this ticket, then we're going to follow this workflow. A lot of exception configuration that adds to the complexity of the implementation. With Atlassian, I can simply define a project for each of my teams, like my IT support team, and they have their own incident object, problem, changes, service request, all your typical ITIL practices, but in a way that they can design it to fit their specific needs. What that also means is from an implementation standpoint, I'm freed up. I don't have to go spend six to eight months building out a single incident object in order to roll it out to dozens of teams. Instead, I can focus on an individual team, like my IT operations team or my HR team, and focus on just their particular requirements and implement in weeks versus months for a traditional ITSM platform. As we see within the individual projects, they have their own queues, their own service request objects. They can also have their own change calendars, as well as their own knowledge base spaces. And we'll return to those here in just a moment. 